So this is, this is for the folks that wanted to know uh, what the human experience's concern should be in the relatively near future, because obviously there's a currency situation going on where there is a currency problem. We have this fiat currency that the world is based in now since Bretton Woods was destroyed and it goes back much deeper than that. We can take it back thousands of years as far as clipping coins, diluting metal, all that type of stuff. It's the same song, same soup reheated basically. So it's been going on for eons. But once we get rid of all the worms, once we cleanse the parasites that the human experience is now experiencing because we leave up we, le we let life's decisions, we leave those up to other people. And that in itself is a decision. So at the end of the day, we're making the decisions for life. But when we do that, we invite parasites. And we allow other people to make decisions that dictate our life and our flow of energy. And our body is our only possession. It is the one thing that we have. It is pure energy or pure vibration. So when we looking into the future here, which is our past we can see that the exchange will change from more dense forms of currency because we see we're getting into a, a lighter, less dense form of exchanging with each other. We have this net, this web, this crystallized version, parasite version of what we are. So this is what we're exchanging with. We're exchanging our videos, our music, all our different forms of how-to and all these other ways through this media, this outlet, this media. So once the currency changes or we, our currency gains a different perspective when we value things differently then what one could conceive as far as currency it, it would basically in, in an independent society or independent interdependent existence such as duality that we've created for ourselves here what we will be exchanging is more so uh, stimuli of the chakra system because that's all we're doing now anyway. We exchange our energy for food. So we stimulate the root chakra. We exchange our enemy for our energy for drugs and experience. So we're moving a little bit further up in the chakra system. We exchange it for art. We're moving up a little bit further in the chakra system. And then as you know, we're exchanging our energy for other things that are of more value. Might be it might just be true love exchanges, you know, selfless giving exchanges as you get more and more refined and more evolved. So that's really what the currency will become more so an exchange of because everything that you create more so comes down to the breath how many breaths did it take to get that to make that manifest so we will basically be quantifying our breath in a sense and the sum of our breath will manifest as an exchange of art it'll be this to stimulate our mood or our chakras in this way or stimulate it in that way so that looks like that will be the new currency the new light currency of of the so-called future for those that refuse to balance themselves internally and uh, seek external balance.